Okay, today we're making no-bake fudge cookies. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about reading the recipe. Reading a book, reading a newspaper, you read left to right, top to bottom. But whenever you read a recipe, it's completely different. As you will see, you have an ingredient portion and a direction portion of the recipe. Now, if you were just to read the ingredient portion, add everything together, your recipes would not turn out correctly. You have to skim through the ingredient part, read the direction part carefully, then go back and as you're rereading the directions, find out how much of each ingredient you need. Okay, we need to wash our hands first. Get our hand washing sink. Okay, we need one cup of sugar. The sugar, brown sugar, granulated sugar, powdered sugar, things like that are located back on the shelf. Um, they're in big tubs. What you need to remember is not to leave your measuring cup in the sugar after you're finished. And when you're all done with the sugar, make sure the lid is tightly on. So we need one cup of sugar. So that'll probably be enough. And then we need a fourth cup of cocoa. So I'm going to get my fourth cup and go get some cocoa. Okay, this is a supply cabinet, and it's easier if when you go to get ingredients, you put everything on a tray, and that way you don't have to make several trips back and forth to your kitchen. So I have a one-fourth cup dry measuring cup, and we have all different kinds of things in here, popcorn, rice, Rice Krispies, baking cocoa. January 18th and that is today. Since it's so close, I think I'll smell it and make sure it's good. Mmm, it's good. Okay, so then we need one fourth cup of milk. And I have my liquid measuring cup. These are dry measuring cups. These are liquid measuring cups. A few times you use for them for the other things, but we'll talk about those as we go. need a half cup of margarine. So as you can see the margarine is located on the door of this fridge. Um, we need a half cup which is one stick, one stick, eight tablespoons. And so we always check in here and make sure there's any margarine open that we can use. However, there's not quite enough margarine open. So we go to one of the boxes. Now when we open one of the boxes of margarine and take out a stick, it's important that you remove all the sticks so that when Mrs. Adams looks in the fridge, she knows how much margarine she has left. So we're going to take one of those sticks, we're going to put the rest on the door to use. We're going to break the box down, put the box in recycling, only cardboard and paper go in recycling, and on with our recipe. Okay, I need a teaspoon of vanilla, and so I go to the pl place where the measuring spoons are, and I look in the baskets. This one says one teaspoon and one tablespoon. TSP is teaspoon, TBSP stands for tablespoon. Um, now you have to double check, however, because sometimes a tablespoon might be in the teaspoon basket. So you look here and make sure it says teaspoon, then you look on it and make sure it says teaspoon. T-B-S-P, and then I'm going to go and get some vanilla. 